Hey guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday, so we're going to talk about money. And today I wanted to talk about the Ben Franklin technique and how you can use it to get out of debt. So Ben Franklin, he is one of the founding fathers of the United States. He was a printer, also signed the Constitution, signed the Declaration of Independence, and I am from Philadelphia, so we have been to see Ben Franklin's grave. Uh, lots of Ben Franklin stuff here in the Philadelphia area, um, and one of my husband's greatest heroes. He loves Ben Franklin. So if you read Ben Franklin's autobiography, he has these 13 virtues of what he used to build his character, as well as a daily schedule that he used um, every single day. So if we look at his daily schedule and also the virtues that he had, then we can sort of learn from that as far as how to pay off our debt as well as to build character. So Ben Franklin's pretty famous for his quote of a penny saved is a penny earned. Um, I think actually it was something else not worded that way, but um, that's how it's become adapted uh, to make sense to modern times. And Ben Franklin also has said a lot of things about debt and how having debt is not a good thing. One of those quotes, which is one of my favorite, is to rather go to bed without dinner than to rise in debt. So anyway, obviously Ben Franklin was not a fan of debt and uh, I'm not either. In 1726, when Ben Franklin was 20, he came up with these 13 virtues. So the first one is temperance, silence, order, resolution, and then fifth one, which is my favorite, frugality. Frugality, right? Being frugal with your money means that you don't buy anything that isn't necessary. You don't want to waste things. So he, Ben Franklin was very frugal. Make no expense, but to do good to others or yourself. Waste nothing. So Ben Franklin said to waste nothing. So being frugal will help you to build wealth and to get out of debt because the more money you can save, the more money you can put towards paying off your debt. Industry, I like this one. Lose no time, be always employed in something useful, cut off all unnecessary actions. So I believe that if Ben Franklin was alive today, he would think that spending five hours a day watching TV is probably not the best investment of your time. And Ben Franklin definitely worked. He was a worker. He got a lot of things done. So the more you work, then the more money you're going to make. And again, the faster you can pay off your debt because you have more money to throw towards it. So going to work is the best thing to do when you're broke. All right. So I really want to look at Ben Franklin's schedule. So he had a schedule that he said that if you stuck to this daily schedule, that it would help you be more productive. And you can see that Ben Franklin woke up at 5 a.m. every morning and he had a morning question that he would ask himself every day. And the morning question was, what good shall I do this day? Having a daily plan is so important. It kind of helps you organize your day. Rise, wash, and address powerful goodness. So powerful goodness, I believe, was God. Um, but you can also do this as a meditation period in the morning. Powerful goodness also to me, I believe in affirmations. So a daily affirmation to sort of help you to rewrite your truths. So if you have um, a bad internal script, I've talked about before about talking about how I'm fit, frugal and free. And so a daily affirmation can be in many different forms. You can be talking financially. You can talking be talking about maybe uh, your love life. Um, you can be talking about your health. But if you have a bad internal script, things you say to yourself, then doing a daily affirmation of I am beautiful, say, or I am wealthy, or I am frugal, it can really help. Even if you don't believe it, kind of fake it till you make it. Those daily affirmations can really help you to sort of rewrite your internal monologue, which will in turn impact your reality. So I think daily affirmations are really important. So this morning time to pray, meditate, reflect, 
do a daily affirmation, I think is really important to help get you centered, get your day started off right. I did read a book recently about this one guy who was talking about how every day it's important to just make your bed because then you're starting out immediately in the morning with a win, with a success, which with getting something accomplished. So he was in the military and he talked about how every single morning it's so important just to make your bed and get your day started off right. So that the whole day you can say, you know, you started off with, with a win, with an accomplishment. Um, so same kind of thing. So I, I really like this and I think it can help you get out of debt because you are trying to work hard, earn money, reach a goal. So in the morning when you're waking up, if you're talking about what good will come of this day, you're kind of talking about, you know, you are working hard towards paying off your debt and you're not going to spend frivolously. You're not going to spend outside your budget. Um, maybe you're going to look at your budget. You're going to, you know, build a budget if you haven't yet and, and it's important to reflect on that in the beginning of the day and to start off um, with those positive affirmations um, just so you sort of know where you're going every single day and why maybe you're going to work, why it's so important to get up early and go to that job that you maybe don't feel like going to. Next on the schedule, which is to read or overlook my accounts. So I believe at this point, this is when Ben Franklin looked at his budget, looked at his household expenses, looked at his accounts, right? So every single day, it's so important to look at your budget, even if it's just for five minutes. Look at your every dollar app, your spreadsheet, your notepad, whatever it is. Look at your bank accounts. Make sure that everything is as it should be. Um, every day, think about it, look at it, focus on it because what you focus on expands, what you focus on is what's going to happen. So if you don't think about it every single day, at least for a small amount of time, then it's going to slip away and become unimportant in your life. So you wanna make sure you're keeping it important and keeping it at the forefront of your mind. It doesn't have to be everything, but for a short period of time until you get a debt, it is something that you have to focus on, which means every day you have to be thinking about it, looking at it for at least a little bit of time. Then at the end of the day, Ben Franklin would put things in their place, which is just preparing for the next day so you be more organized. So that way, if you have everything put away, neat, if you don't, this is where I think you check your mail, locate your bills, um, open your bills from the mail. Don't just toss them in a the corner. You want to organize it, put it in its proper place so that you'll be able to address it the next day, perhaps. But if you have a certain location of a file folder, maybe you have some kind of in bin, maybe you have um, something in your purse or a briefcase, a clip, somewhere to stick that bill so that you can, you know, have it. Um, exactly where you need it to be when you're ready to go and do your bills, pay your bills, think about your bills. So you wanna organize that and uh, put it in its proper place. And then examination, exam examination of the day. <laughs> examination of the day, you reflect back on what you've done, maybe what you bought that you shouldn't have bought, maybe what you um, did well, you worked really hard, maybe you did good at not buying something, you were able to distract yourself from stopping at some kind of convenience store because you were tired, so it's time to reflect on the day what you did good, what you could improve upon, so um, I think that's important every single day as well. So if you're gonna start a new habit, you have to anchor the habit. So you might need some kind of trigger to help you. It takes 21 days or something to develop a new habit. So if you're new to budgeting, you're new to the sort of get out of debt plan, then it's good to have a trigger. Maybe you wanna print up a schedule. Maybe you wanna put some kind of alarm on your phone, something to help you to remember to do some of these things, to help you to look at your budget, to anchor that habit. And then in time, it will become a habit. And then you don't have to think about it as much because you're just used to living frugally. And um, I, you, living frugally doesn't mean that you don't have any money or that you don't enjoy your life or spend money. It just means you're not wasteful with your money. You, you think about it. And when you are spending money, you're doing so um, with purpose. You, you, you know what you're spending your money on and you have the money to do so. And uh, you're just, it's everything is just more, you have a plan, you have a plan. So 
living frugally in my mind is a really good thing and building wealth is a good thing because then you have less stress in your life and you can leave some kind of legacy to your children. You have more choices. If you decide that you wanna be a stay-at-home mom, you can be a stay-at-home mom because you have everything set up so that way it's possible. Um, you just, it, overall, it's just a wonderful thing to be frugal and build wealth and uh, to get out of debt. Because when you have debt, then things are risky. You have a lot of risk in your life. Because what if you lose a job? Or what if you have some kind of really big medical emergency and you end up with these huge medical bills and you also have you know, debt and then you have to pay off your, you're paying debt payments, plus you have to pay something over here. It just increases the risk in your life and your peace of mind. So not having any debt and having actual money in your account. So if you don't have debt payments, then you, all of that income you're making Making, you can put in your savings account or you can invest it. And so just not having debt payments is a really big deal. So get that out of your life as fast as you can. And if it's gonna take some time, just start working on it every day, every day, every day, every day. Right, so my my personal trainer, fitness guy that I listen to on Active, he says it doesn't happen in a day, it happens daily. And I think that's like the best thing. That's the best thing to remind yourself every day is it doesn't happen in a day, it happens daily with your habits and also with your schedule. Like I said, what you put into place every single day. Um, and that's a huge, um, huge deal. Okay, all right. So if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.